Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my distinct pleasure to be here at the launch of this CAPE Digital Media Syllabus. I want to congratulate the Council uh, for this, what is, can, can only be described as a pioneering uh, launch and a pioneering initiative. But I also want to thank the, 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 the many persons who have been responsible for bringing us to this point. This is truly a Caribbean initiative. And today what we're celebrating is another indication of what we can do when we collaborate as a region. There is a saying, uh, it is still four months until the harvest. And I tell you, open your eyes and look, the fields are already white. And many of us will recognize this, um, this, this Bible verse. And I think it's very applicable here because for some time now we've been talking about the power of technology and the potential that it has to change our region. And also we've been speaking um, in many fora about the, the role that education plays in transforming Caribbean society. But the reality is that the, the need to transform is not something to come, it is, it is here. And the urgency that we face is upon us. And I think if we look at this uh, Cape Digital Media as a signal from the, the Caribbean Examination Council of their intention to translate words into actions, then we recognize that what we are celebrating here is much more than the launch of a syllabus. I think we can definitely describe this as the start of a new era for education in the Caribbean. This program, as you heard from, from Dr. Tegransel, is, is coming at a time when the region is increasingly dependent on information and communication technology. And it's coming in a season where we are increasingly grappling with how do we use information and communication technology relevantly to our Caribbean context. These were the discussions that we had at the, the, the council, the, the, the group that was responsible for looking at the structure of the, the CAPE digital media syllabus. And these were the debates that we had over exactly what would be our definition of Caribbean digital media. What are we going for? Uh, we understand that as a region, we, we consume a lot of technology. We're very good at that, very competent at consuming technology. But the recognition was that if we had to take the natural inclination that our young people have and their natural affinity for technology, then what we had to create was not a new generation of consumers, but we had to create a new generation of content producers. And that recognition shaped the, the structure of this, this program. The emphasis is not only on putting into the hands of our young people the technical skills they need to produce digital media, how to produce uh, e-music and digital photography and e-books and mobile applications. But the waiting was also on how to understand the context within which these applications create a Caribbean context that is most relevant to us. What kind of society we're trying to produce? What is our unique expression in the online space? These were the conversations that shaped the syllabus that is being launched today. And we all know the, 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 the traumatic impact technology has had on our lives, from mobile phones to um, moving from TV to downloading videos on YouTube and these streaming media sites, the world around us has literally been transformed because of the impact of technology. And we, had, we recognized that we had a choice. The choice is that we can sit back and wait for somebody else to define how we respond as a region, or we can give our young people the, the tools that they need to actually take charge and define our own future. And that's where we are with this syllabus. I can speak from a, a private sector and non-profit standpoint and say that when we look at the, the requirements for content to preserve cultural artifacts, when we look at the requirement for technology to improve business, when we look at the requirement for technology to improve how we educate, creating digital content programs is not simply a matter of teaching kids how to do new wonderful stuff. It's actually a matter of survival. And that's where this program comes in. It fits in a time, it comes at a time and fits in a context where without the requisite competencies and without the, the requisite understanding, we actually disadvantage our region in terms of its ability to prepare for the future and to prepare for the future that is inevitable. So. There is, another, there is another driver behind our approach to launching and shaping this, this program, and that is we understand that the children, the young people, our students, have a particular natural inclination toward all things digital and all things technology. 
But if we have to be successful in launching this program, we also have to remember our teachers need to be equipped to guide them along the way. And both considerations are factored into how this program has been delivered. You heard the context earlier about the realities of the environment that we're in, uh, the, the, the press of technology and the, 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 the almost irresistible movement toward a more technologically driven society. But from an education standpoint, we have the realities of schools that are challenged, teachers who are um, burdened in different ways concerning what they can and should do. And so we recognize that if we had to launch it successfully, we had to look at how do we also equip our teachers. If this subject is as important as we all know it to be, then it should also be important for us to ensure that our teachers are appropriately skilled. So I'll use another, another scripture reference, another verse, and that is the harvest is plentiful. We have lots of students who want to do digital media, but the laborers, the workers are few. And so understanding that there is limited teaching experience in this subject matter, and juxtaposing that against the broad interest in the subject matter, CXE has embarked on a very innovative approach to rolling out this CAPE digital media syllabus that I want to spend a few uh, moments to share with you. For the first time, a digital orientation video process will be used to equip our teachers. And what that means, let me put that in context for you. The traditional method would have been X years to develop a syllabus and then perhaps another year or two to just get enough awareness around how is it supposed to work in the classroom. We're using the technology again, the same technology that we're promoting in this syllabus to transform, to radically transform how that is going to be done. And what is happening now is that any teacher anywhere in the Caribbean and any student anywhere in the Caribbean can now look at a series of videos to understand this program, to understand the requirements, to understand how they fit inside of the, the new units and the new, the new models, and to understand how they can make the most of it. Now let me say that again. For the first time ever, we're using technology to accelerate how we roll out a syllabus. And the syllabus that we're rolling out happens to be a digital media syllabus. So we're using digital media to teach the syllabus to the teachers. And we're using digital media to excite the students about the syllabus so that they can understand what they need to do. A number of teachers have already expressed concerns that, well, the kids know so much, how can we talk to them about mobile apps when we don't understand mobile apps? How can we talk to them about Facebook and YouTube when these are things that are not only foreign to us, but frightening to us? And what we're doing with this, this, um, this new approach to the orientation process and to the rollout process is we're saying, let's use the technology to teach ourselves, teachers and students, exactly what it is we're going for. Remember what I said earlier, this is not just about technical skills. This is technical skills matched with an understanding of the Caribbean context. You can't Google to find out the Caribbean context. And so if this program has to be done effectively, we have to put that information about what does digital media mean to Caribbean students and to Caribbean nationals. We have to put that in their hands. And that's exactly what we have done with the launch of the CAPE uh, digital media uh, syllabus orientation toolkit. This toolkit will contain the videos that describe the program. It will have expert lectures talking about technology, the inner workings of the digital media streams that we're looking at, but it will also have the experts talking about what does it mean? How is it used in Antigua and Barbados and Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago? What are the issues that we face, the ethical issues concerning the use of media, piracy, um, copyright protection, intellectual property, all of these things are being treated with in the toolkit. In addition to those videos, we've also collated a number of what are called infographics to help in the classroom so that teachers can refer to charts that simplify what the different streams are and so that students can understand where their focus needs to be. But there's more. In addition to the infographics, we've also collated and curated a number of videos that treat in depth with each of the subject areas. And all of this material is being available, being made available online for anyone to access. I really want us to understand how radical an approach, uh, how radically different an approach this is to education delivery, not just for CXE and not just for the Caribbean. What has happened here with this syllabus and with this launch is a global innovation. And the model is already receiving great interest from others 
in other jurisdictions, how did you do it? What were the considerations? What were you factoring into it? And we haven't even launched it yet. And that's the exciting prospect we face right now. We have, from right here in the region, identified a problem, come up with a solution, and implemented it using Caribbean talent, Caribbean collaboration, and Caribbean innovation. And we want to hold that model up, not just to our students, not just to our teachers, but to the entire region as a sign that we can still, as a region, innovate, and we can still come up with the solutions for the problems and challenges that we face. Thank you.